Hi guys, welcome to No Math. My name is Sir Bench Antonio, and on this video we will discuss solving quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. This lesson is intended for high school mathematics, especially for grade 9 students. If you are not yet subscribed on my channel, please hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us review first the quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 or a second degree equation where the highest exponent of the equation is 2. This equation is, can be written in the standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where the a value, v value, and c value are all real numbers. There are four ways to solve quadratic equation. First, by extracting square root. Next, by factoring. The third one is by u by using completing the square method and the last one is using the quadratic formula we already discussed the three methods on um, some of our videos and this time we will focus on quadratic formula we all know that we have this quadratic formula of x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so we are using this for us to have the solution of quadratic equation. Just like the method of completing the square, we use the quadratic formula if the given general trinomial is not factorable. Say for example, number 1, x squared plus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. This is an example of, a, of an equation which is not factorable. The same with number 2, x squared minus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. And so as number 3, 3x squared minus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0. They are all cannot be factored out. Let's start to solve number 1. x squared plus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. For us to solve this kind of equation, Using the quadratic formula, we always have to know the values of A, B, and C. In our first example, the value of A is 1, the value of B is 4, and the value of C is negative 1. So what are we to do is to substitute the values on our formula. X is equal to negative B plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let us substitute the values of a, b, c on the formula. We have negative 4 as your b value plus minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times the a value, which is 1, and times the c value, which is negative 1. All over 2 times a, which is 1. Next, let us evaluate. We have negative 4 plus minus the square root of 4 squared is 16. Then negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 will give us positive 4. All over 2 times 1, which is 2. Then we have negative 4 plus minus the square root of 20 as 16 plus 4 divided by 2. In this case, we can simplify the square root of 20. The square root of 20 can be simplified by two factors. The square root of 4 times the square root of 5. That the square root of 4 is 2 and we do not have the square root of 5. So, 
just write square root of 5. Then, we have the square root of 20 as 2 square root of 5. So, we have now negative 4 plus minus 2 square root of 5 divided by 2. This can be simplified as 4 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 2. So, we have now negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Then, plus minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 square root of 5. So, there we have now the two solutions. We have the x sub 1 and we have the x sub 2. The first solution is negative 2 plus the square root of 5. And the second solution is negative 2 minus the square root of 5. Example number 2. x squared minus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. So same thing, this equation is not factorable. So again, we need to know the values of a, b, and c. The value of a is 1, the value of b is negative 3, and the value of c is positive 3. So again, we have to substitute the values of our ABC to the formula of negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Substitute B, substitute the value of A, and also the value of C. So B is negative 3. We have negative times negative 3. Plus minus negative 3 squared as your B value. Minus 4 times the A which is 1 and times your letter C which is 3. Divided by 2 times A which is 1. Let us evaluate. We have negative times negative 3 that will give us a positive 3 plus minus negative 3 squared is positive 9. Then we have negative 4 times 1 times 3 is negative 12. All over 2 times 1 which is 2. So we have now 3 plus minus 9 minus 12 is negative 3 divided by 2. Notice that we have here a square root of a negative number, which is not possible. So what are we to do is the square root of negative 3 is equal to the square root of negative 1 times the square root of positive 3 that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. Take note, let us review. i is equal to the square root of negative 1 and i squared is equal to negative 1. i is for the imaginary number. So meaning, we can write the negative 3 as i times the square root of positive 3. Therefore, we have now the x value of 3 plus minus i square root of 3 all over 2. So we have now the two values or the two solutions. The first solution is 3 plus i square root of 3 over 2 and the other one is 3 minus i square root of 3 over 2. And these are now the two solutions for our x. Let us try number 3. We have here 3x squared minus 6i 
uh, sorry, 3x squared minus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, the value of a, b, c is always or are always important. We have a as 3, b as negative 6, and c of negative 2. Substitute from the formula of negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So our b is negative 6. Plus minus, substitute b value, negative 6 squared. Minus 4, substitute the value of a, 3, substitute the value of c, 2. Then, divided by 2 times a, which is 3. Let us evaluate again. We have now negative times negative 6. That will give us positive 6. Plus minus the square root of negative 6 squared. We have 36. Positive. And we have here negative 4 times 3 times 2 is negative 24. Divided by 2 times positive 3 is 6. Simplify. We have 6 plus minus the square root of 36 minus 24. That is 12. Divided by 6. Again, notice that 12 can be simplified. As the square root of 12 is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 3 is still square root of 3. We do not have a simplified form of square root of 3. So therefore, we can write our answer as 6 plus minus 2 square root of 3 over 6. So again, this can be divided by 6 and also 2 can be simplified. But, we still have our denominator. We just have to simplify 6 divided by 6 as 1, 2 over 6 as 1 thirds. So we have now the x values, 2 solutions. The first solution is 1 plus square root of 3. We don't need to write 1 for the square root of 3 over 3. And the other solution is 1 minus the square root of 3 all over 3. So these are now the two solutions for our quadratic equation. And that is how we're going to solve quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Then, I have this math challenge for you guys. Try to solve for the roots of 2x squared minus x plus 3 equals 7 using the quadratic formula. If you know the answer, guys, just comment down below. And do not forget to like and subscribe on my channel for, all my, for more of my videos. Thank you for watching, guys.